A pressure transmitter measures pressure of gases or liquids. For the purposes of this level learning, we will be concentrating on liquids. Pressure is an expression of the force required to stop a fluid from expanding, typically stated in terms of PSI. A pressure transmitter converts mechanical force in the form of pressure into an electric current. This electric current can be configured to work with an indicator or controller to measure gallons, inches, feet or meters. Flowline offers four pressure transmitters covering a large variety of applications. The LD30 external pressure level transmitter is suited for clean liquid or gas media including cutting oil and air. The LD31 submersible pressure level transmitter is suited for lightweight oil, diluted chemicals, or clean water including water wells and ponds. The LD32 submersible pressure level transmitter is suited for dirty, foaming, or slurry type liquids, including municipal sewer or storm pump lift stations. And lastly, the LD34 miniature submersible level transmitter is suited for downwell water applications, including inwell and borehole applications. Pressure level transmitters are ideal for applications with narrow access high temperatures up to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, vapor, as well as for insulations with heavy foam. Utilization of pressure expands applications where other contact solutions cannot work effectively. The most common examples are dirty wastewater, chemical solvents, and petroleum byproducts, where specific gravity is challenging to floats and dielectric constants are challenging to conductance. The key option for each model is the selection of the pressure range. The pressure range determines the operational range for the sensor. Be sure to consider the specific gravity of the liquid when selecting the pressure range. Specific gravity is the ratio of the density of a substance in relation to the density of another substance. Water has a specific gravity of 1. Solutions heavier than water have a higher specific gravity, and solutions lighter than water have a lower specific gravity. Another option that pertains to the LD31, LD32, and LD34 series is the selection of the cable material. Choose either polyurethane for water, wastewater, and most chemicals, or ETFE for gasoline, petroleum, and extreme high or low temperatures as the material for your cable. Finally, the LD30 series has an option for either a cable connection or a conduit connection. Pressure transmitters are perfect for applications where ultrasonic, radar, or a contact solution is unreliable or obstacles may interfere with an ultrasonic or radar signal. Pressure transmitters can withstand virtually any environment and can even be completely submerged. They are made of piezoelectric materials, which are immune to both radiation and electromagnetic fields. To configure your pressure level transmitter, you will need an indicator or controller to translate the pressure signal into a liquid height reading. You may need to use some simple math equations to calculate the maximum liquid height, current at full, and required maximum pressure in order to measure your intended application in terms of gallons, inches, feet, or meters. These topics will be discussed in the next level learning. Pressure level transmitters are typically installed by inserting the transmitter through the top of the tank and lowering the transmitter until it reaches the bottom. This allows the pressure transmitter to provide accurate results for the entirety of the tank as it measures the pressure above. There is another method for measuring pressure that involves inserting an external pressure transmitter to the sidewall of the tank to measure the pressure of the liquid above. Flowline pressure level transmitters work well with all flowline displays that accept a 4 to 20 milliamp display such as DataLoop LI25, DataView LI55, DataPoint LC52, or the Commander LI90. 
Each of these displays can indicate the level of the liquid in the tank in engineering units. To add relays or a 4 to 20 milliamp repeater, choose the LI55 series or the LC52 controller as a solution. The LD30, LD31, and LD34 series will require cleaning when used in liquids that may contain dissolved solids. Simply remove the sensor and rinse with water to remove debris that could enter the sensing nozzle. Regarding troubleshooting, the sensor will read a 4 milliamp signal when the sensor is out of the liquid. Simply add a 24 VDC power supply and a multimeter set to read milliamps in a simple current loop to test the sensor for operation. To view this or one of our many other level learnings, go to www.flowline.com slash level dash learning dot php. Stay tuned for upcoming level learning videos such as advanced pressure, configuring data view LI55, how to install a sensor on a standpipe, and how to test the sensor for functionality. Come back for more to take your learning to another level with level learning. This is JC signing off.